My young years, everybody was telling me how to listen, or they tell me to listen, but they never told me how to listen. So finally, my ears opened up. I hoped, however, I got damaged on one, one year on my experience in the Vietnam War, and the other I can't deal with. So I got used to our uh, lip speaking. I always look at my wife when something goes on, you know, you read her lips or what they're saying. But I don't, I still don't quite understand that she had that southern drawl even with her lips. <laughs> you know, one of the things, you know, that, you know, with this gift that, that's been coming through Red Lake, uh, as Buck mentioned, one afternoon, I was busy at the lodge and Alice, Sliding in there, the whole bunch of clouded dust behind her. I said, What's the matter here? She jumps out of her car, comes in, she has a little box. She said, Look, look, look. So I opened the box, and there's 100 crystals in that box. And I guess the lady that gave this to, to us to get her a leg is over here, and uh, I'd like to have Alice come in and introduce her. Uh, how that gift you know, came about coming near the Red Lake. Good morning, everybody. Um, I was uh, talking with uh, Jerry Bear, and she presented me with this box of crystals, and she had a story, and she's here today, so I'd like to have her come up and tell us the story. Thanks, Alice. Um, it's really an honor to be here today and to bring you this gift. I was visiting um, my friends, my Mohican friends, and the elders and teachers who live in New Mexico now, and I was just visiting them about a year ago. And when I left, they gave me this box of 100 crystals, and they said, would you please do us the honor of bringing this gift to the Red Lake Nation? Um, these are powerful peace crystals, and we want them to come from our hearts, and we've been praying for them, and we'd like you to bring it to them. Um, and then they told me this story. In 1985, these crystals were harvested in a mine in Arkansas for the express purposes of world peace, particularly bringing peace to the children. And they were asked to build a medicine wheel of these crystals to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the United Nations, which was dedicated to world peace, particularly in children's hearts. So they built a medicine wheel of thousands and thousands of crystals um, to honor that special day, and all the children who came to that event went home with the crystals. And a year ago, that was 1995, and a year ago they received all the crystals in the mail, and they have been spreading these, these crystals around the world, particularly in honor of the children. So the next morning I offered tobacco and prayed and thought how oh, I could bring this great gift to uh, the Red Lake Nation, and they asked me to give it to a peacemaker who would consult with an elder, and they would know what to do. So as I was praying, Alice Benitez's beautiful face just came into my prayer, and I knew I was to bring it to Alice, um, and I also knew Larry would be part of this conversation. So I am so grateful and so honored to bring you this um, peaceful gift from my friends Wendigo and Hockland, who are good Mohican people. Uh, they sent their love and their peace to you. You know, when we started over here,
in the month of heaven is uh, what we are witnessing here this morning in the resignation is the return of the sacred group. It has a lot of, it has a uh, hundred feathers tied on this group. The man that has a dream about this group will tell you about his dream and how this group came about. And once again, you know, I for one is very honored and very blessed to participate 